What does skip stages after unstable mean in Jenkins? In a previous video, I talked about what does unstable mean in Jenkins. If you haven't seen that video, the link is down in the description. In the case of unstable, your pipeline won't fail. However, what do you need to do in case you don't want your pipeline to also continue on? That's what skip stages after unstable does for you. Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.401.1. I've also set up a sample job. Before we take a look at the job, let's go ahead and take a look at the syntax for skip stages after unstable. What we see here is that the option is self-defining. It skips stages once the build status has gone to unstable. So let's go back over to our job and take a look at the definition for the job. What we have here is a pipeline that has three stages. We have stage one, stage two, and stage three. Each of these stages has an echo, but in stage two, we've added the unstable step to go ahead and force an unstable. So when we take a look at the output from build one, what we can see is we had stage one, stage two, we're forcing the unstable, stage three, continue on, but the overall state of the pipeline is unstable. We can also see that taking a look at it from the stage view. We see that the overall is yellow, but we see that we have a green stage one, we have a yellow stage two, but then we also have a green stage three. What we're wanting to do is we're wanting to not have stage three run if in stage two, the job goes unstable. So how do we do that? Well, let's go ahead and go back into configure. We know we need to add the option, but if you're not sure exactly how to generate the syntax for you, we're gonna click on pipeline syntax. We'll select on declarative directive generator. We'll change our sample directive from agent down to options, and then we'll click on add, and we'll select skip stages after unstable. Now for this option, there are no extra values that we can add to it. So all we need to do is click on generate declarative directive. We'll copy this options block, go back over to our controller, and let's add in this options block right below agent and click on save. Now note what we have here for build number one. Overall it's yellow, but stage one was green, stage two was yellow, stage three was also green. Let's take a look at the console output for this. We have stage one, stage two, and then we also see stage three. Now that we've added in the new option, let's go ahead and go back and run the job one time. When we take a look at visually what we see here for build number two, we still see a yellow overall. We see a green in stage one, a yellow in stage two, and a green in stage three. But let's go take a look at the logs. If we go into build number two, what we'll see here is stage one, echoed out, that's exactly what we expected. Stage two, we still see the echo for stage two and then the step for unstable. But notice what we see here. We now see that stage three was skipped due to earlier stages marking the build as unstable. So although the stage view still shows stage three is green, it's actually skipped because we've set the option, skip stages after unstable. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.